I recall maybe when you guys first started doing this that you did a test where you had um, a handheld uh, RH meter and temperature gauge and right. you put it right on uh, a canopy that had no VAS on and it right. was at like 64, 66. I think it was 68. 68, yeah. okay. Yeah. Percent relative humidity. Right. And then you came right over to the next row with the um, with it on and it dropped down to like... 54. Yeah, like the, <laughs> yeah. it was like right in the primo yeah. spot. So yeah. um, for me, that was such a simple exercise, but it just goes to show you a lot of people don't realize uh, when we talk about controlling relative humidity, it's not always just about sucking air out of a, of a system. It's sure. about moving air and just moving the right type of air um, and moving air correctly, you can dramatically reduce relative humidity. 100%, yeah. And that was really just kind of the presence of airflow uh, side by side with the absence of airflow. Yeah. And like, that's how significantly you can drop. When we used to, you know, cause I, we're talking a lot about indoor spaces, but, um, uh, much of my inspiration in controlling my environment comes from growing in greenhouses, you know, because yep. I have a fair amount of experience in greenhouses, I have a fair amount of experience in uh, large scale outdoor full term, and, mm -hmm. and I, I really look forward to getting back into that space in the next coming, sure. coming years, you know, with this kind of fully rounded regional offering. But, um, but the only way you can control your relative humidity, humidity levels um, in hoop houses that are very kind of rudimentary, like yep. not very engineered structures, by airflow, yeah. you know, and so we would just buy industrial fans, you know, before we knew any better, and just and just sweep across the canopy, you know, uh, for for mold prevention, you know, especially towards the end of the year when botrytis is kicking in heavy, you know, and that sure. you never know if it's going to be 100% humidity in the morning or not, you know, and so another thing I really like about your system is the pre-filter, and I know it's such a simple concept, but having a pre-filter in there before, so that you know, comes in through the plenum from the fan through the plenum pre-filter. You got your CO2 injection as well, which right. is great. Um, but that pre-filter is critical. Um, you know, you got these indoor high connoisseur you know this is going to be trimmed flower right um buds and you know you do catch particulate it could be sure. anything from a from a gnat to dust on the floor or whatever the case is i always tell people um you know we talk about outdoor and i love outdoor grown products but i have to be honest with myself about them i'm like i tell people I'm like hey, do you wash your car regularly and they're like yeah like once a week or once a month or whatever it is and i'm like well think about if you didn't wash your car for like i don't know three months Right. outside what would it look like right. well, it would have all kinds of contaminants all over sure. it and dust and stuff and then this is something you have to smoke so um you know just simple things you can tell that what i love about what you've done is it's kind of for growers by growers um and i think that's something that pip has done really well and actually fluence has done a really good job of right. staffing true horticulturists um, uh, paired with like legacy cannabis growers 100%. to help them yeah. formulate their services their product offerings and really dial in something that's intended for a grower. Right. Um, and I think that's a big difference between kind of, you know, kind of what I'll call our ecosystem that we share. Sure. Um, and a lot of, you know, other players in the space. Yeah, Pip knows that I'm available at any time. Yeah, Fluence you, knows yeah, I'm available incredible. at any time. Yeah. And, and I think the same goes for you. Yeah. And so we, um, and without them, you know, we don't have this. And, and without us, then they don't have the, the plant knowledge that comes with decades of experience, yeah. you know? So, so I think that Understanding those things and not trying to do it all is a very important thing in any industry period, but um, uh, You know, we're doing our best to keep the communication open and, and navigate this space without overstepping our boundaries and staying it, you know, we're staying in our lane. Sure. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of